<laughs> just kidding, just kidding. You, you like me as long as you like Latin? <laughs> Come on, Latin can be useful. Latin uh, resolves disputes. Um, a lot of people nowadays, a lot of Remainers are asking for the people's vote. Yeah? Uh, do you know what ancient Romans called the people's vote? <laughs> Referendum. <laughs> yeah, we just had one. Yeah. So now that you know, now that, now that you know, next time a, a friend of yours asks for a people's vote, Get a better friend, <laughs> more educated friends, more, more knowledgeable friends. But, but this is a Christmas gig, and I'm not very religious, but when it comes to religions, I think Christianity is the best one. Um, that's not the funny part. But, uh, how do I know? Because non-Christians come to Christian countries and talk crap about Christianity and nothing happens to them. <laughs> it's just incredible. It doesn't sound right, right? It doesn't, doesn't happen the other way around anywhere in the world, right? It's, it's almost as if Christianity is a religion of peace. <laughs> but we can't say that, obviously, because those other guys have already claimed it. <laughs> it's a patent pending situation. <laughs> So this guy goes to the patent office, uh, hello, I would like to register Islam as the religion of peace. Um, sir, we've got a monthly promotion this month, uh, so if you patent five things simultaneously, there's a big discount. Okay, in that case, I would like to patent driving trucks into Christmas markets, <laughs> flying planes into skyscrapers, shooting down French cartoonists in their office, shooting down Israeli athletes in the Olympic Village, and Islam as a religion of peace. <laughs> My time is short, I'll, I don't want to be done, but thank you. <laughs> Alright, sir, I don't see any incongruence in your application, I'll submit it for you. <laughs> don't worry, I can say that because it's true. <laughs> Here's how right wing comedy works, by the way. What I lack in audience sympathy, I make up in accuracy and logic. <laughs> this is not the only club I perform. Um, but yeah, um, listen, I, I kind of have to defend Christianity because the one who is supposed to do it doesn't ever. You know, let's face it, you cannot defend Christianity just by wearing a funny hat and traveling the world and dodging taxes. And that's why I think the Queen has let us down. <laughs> Is this news to you? Have you ever owned a British coin? Yeah? On top of the Queen's head, on any coin, you've got her name and her title. Elizabeth II, FD, which is Latin for Fide Defensor, Defender of the Faith. That is her job title. That's the only thing they put on the coin. And yet, I don't want to brag, but by the end of this short routine, I will have defended Christianity more than Her Majesty has in her entire reign. Uh, Jesus said... <laughs> Jesus said, He who is without sin, cast the first stone. And from that we learn the importance of due process of law. Jesus also said, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and give to God what belongs to God. And from that, we learn separation of religion and state. And Jesus also said, forgive them, Father, they don't know what they are doing. And from that, we learn to forgive feminists who like Islam. <laughs> so, so Christianity, Christianity made Western civilization the best civilization. And uh, by the way, if you don't agree that, the, that Western civilization is the best, feel free to express your indignation using the Latin alphabet <laughs> on your phone, which was invented by a white male, full of uh, toxic male masculinity. Uh, Americans say it was Alexander Graham Bell. Italians say it was Antonio Meucci. Doesn't matter, for, for the purpose of this routine, it doesn't matter who, who it was, but it was Meucci, okay? It was Meucci, <laughs> except that Alexander Graham Bell get to the patent office first. And we, we've just seen how the patent office works. <laughs> <laughs> Not very diligent with the background check and everything. Um, okay, I think my time is running up. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to hear more about me, at the interval, come out, stand in that lobby, and nag Andrew until he books me again. <laughs>